Hello everybody, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. As you can see, we are in Hungry Map. And I'm in a different Volvo. I don't know, an FH16. Uh, but this is the 2009 version. Uh, pretty much stock, I think it is. I think it's maybe got a powerful engine in it. Um, but there's, I think, nothing on the outside. Doesn't look like anything to me. Uh, not even got body coloured uh, mirrors, look. Still got the plastic mirrors because I can't afford anything. I've only got five grand. Lights on. Uh, oh, the lights are on. Oh, bonus. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, to haul some loads, get some cash. Uh, I've just installed uh, the Scania 143M by Equalizer. I could have said that wrong. Something along those lines. Uh, unfortunately, I can't purchase it. Mainly because I've got no money. In fact, mainly because I haven't yet discovered a Scania dealer. I think that, yeah, there is somebody coming there. Oh, that was a good gear change. Well done. Well done. Good start. So I'm having to use the uh, head up display for uh, the GPS. Stop raining. Looks like it's going to stop raining shortly. I don't think I've driven this truck very far. I'm not too sure. Am I going to the right place? Yes. No, that's crane. That's nice. Why do we pick up the paperwork? Here. Is that down here on the left? There's a load. I don't know. I can't see the load. I think it's behind me. Well, tighter than I was expecting. Now, if I remember rightly, it was a long time ago. Turn those wipers off. Pick up the paperwork. If I remember rightly. Helicopter. I say to have seen this before. But, uh, I'm going to take it in gear. Thank you. And take a look at it. Seventh second will do it. There it is. I'm hoping this fits under the bridges. It doesn't look that high. Crane's probably about as high as... Actually, that crane looks a bit high. Wow, with the kind of crazy stutters. It's going to be fun getting out of here. It's terrible driving. It really is. Bang on line. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Haha, <laughs> why nothing happened. Right. Not very heavy, this. I think it's only maybe a couple of tons. Because after all, the thing has to fly. Wow, seventh. I honestly didn't think I was in seventh. Did a really good job of uh, pulling off in seventh on tick over, pretty much. Am I going to hit the trainer on that post? I think I might do. Mm. Mm. I'm going fantastically well. I can't even get out of the yard. Not doing seventh. Let's go for third then. Jump round here. That's close. I miss it. Yeah, that's better. I made a bit of a meal out of that. Don't hit that van. Don't hit that van. Oh, you git. Just clipped it. Rhymes. Um, all good. I'm going to have 
to forgive me. I'm always making excuses. There's always some reason why I'm rubbish at everything. Always have a reason. It's not the same, isn't it? No. No, just me then. Uh, traffic. Um, this is the first time I've been in the Euro truck for, hmm, excuse the phone, maybe a week and a half. Oh, traffic. Go for it. Just have beacons on, really. But I don't know if I've got any beacons. Nope. No beacons. So yeah, first time I've been in here for a week and a half. And that's where I filmed the uh, Plymouth to Grimsby video, the last video in Euro Truck, and that was in um, obviously in the UK. My homecoming video, is it, if you like, for my uh, my holiday. Yeah, get out before you. Where am I going? Straight round the roundabout. Far too fast. too fast. Um, yeah, okay, I may have kind of got over the roundabout a little bit there, but, you know. All road signs intact, though, that's the main thing. Uh, yes, and uh, I think it was about two weeks out of Euro Truck before I filmed the uh, wrong gear. Plymouth to uh, Grimsby video. So, basically, I've been in, in Euro Truck once in... Hmm three weeks, three and a half weeks, which is uh, the longest period of time I've not been in Euro Truck for phew, crikey, since at least March and of course it's now October happy October to you, a bit late of course, it's the 10th, the 11th I think, I think it's the 11th and the reason I uh, emergency services up ahead. The reason I ditched the other Volvo, I think it was just too low and that was causing me a little bit of heartache and I couldn't afford to change the chassis or oh, I just got no money and I spent too much money on accessories and modifications for the thing and uh, it wasn't going, uh, wasn't going well. I think I still have a truck. Yeah. I think I've still got Mercedes, I think. Which is uh, being driven by one of my staff. First control. Come on. I, mean, I know it's Sunday. Oh, great. Don't you just love that? Slow drivers. Miles away from the car in front there. So yeah, the uh, Scania... Whoa, just pull out... You... Mm. The Scania 143... Uh, um, even though it's tested for 1.19, this is currently game version 1.21.1. 1. Uh, it wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't load, it says incompatible. It's version 3.2. One maybe of the uh, 143. However, managed to fudge it by uh, opening up the mod, opening up the SCS file, and just deleting the manifest. Uh, the manifest tells the game which versions of the game the mod's compatible with. I did try changing it um, to 1.21 in the manifest, but didn't seem to. wasn't happy with that. So yeah, I just deleted it, and that worked. So <laughs> I don't think the uh, the game particularly likes it, likes it when you do that, and it does throw up errors in the log. You know, oh, I haven't got a manifest and all this malarkey. But it just, you know, because it doesn't know it's not compatible, it assumes it probably is compatible. A bit ridiculous, really. So I'm not entirely sure what the point of the manifest is. I'm sure it does other things as well. There's other features into the game, but... Um, and I have cheated 
Why, there should be traffic lights on this junction, surely? Crossroads with a dual carriageway. I mean, it's, he's not going anyway. Have I got space to get around there? I think I've got space. That car stopped. I keep pushing out. Maybe those cars will stop. Maybe. Yay! And in the end... I think this has got a pretty powerful engine, so you're quite a short on this. I might see what loads we've got when we've got there. I'm really keen to, uh, to get some miles in. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm keen to get the miles in, but I'm also keen to uh, to get the money in as well. And uh, now we're on 0 0.26 plus this mod with the uh, essentially unlocked def files. It means uh, economy is a little bit easier for me now. In terms of, I'm sure we we'll drop off in here. No, okay, I screwed that up. Uh, may as well go back and bring around. Yeah, it kind of is a little bit easier now. Makes it a little bit more. Um, you know, each job's a little bit more worthwhile. So I've I've done the whole. Uh, building up a business thing in the uh, in my main profile whereas that is fun that is part of the game there's uh, what am I doing here Bit of a limit to. Uh, I've no idea what I'm saying. To be honest, so I'm just going to leave that subject because I'm talking absolute cobblers. Excuse my French. I'm talking a load of rubbish, and I'm driving shockingly. Wow, it's loud out here. Almost like a pro, almost. Gotta turn a little bit faster. That's is that straight or is that straight? Oh, why do I keep pressing that button? I don't even know what that button does. <laughs> and it's satisfactory. Uh only with a roundabout issue and the van before I got out of the depot. But I've leveled up, skilled worker. So how much have we got? 591, so not exactly a millionaire now. But hey, I get a skill point. Hmm. Oh, where do I put it? There it is, another step on the career ladder. Things coming along nicely now. Really starting to love this map. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Stay tuned for more Euro Truck. The next episode will be in probably TSM map, I think. I fancy that. Thank you very much for watching. And above all, drive safe.